Today we'll take a quick look at a handful of cartridges and complete Sega Genesis games I've collected over the years, and my initial reaction upon discovering these titles was what? Not in a oh wow decent title at a decent price. What like what the heck were these people thinking when doing this to these games? Three main subjects I'd like to go over are rental stickers, renovation games on the Genesis, and why and who did this to Vector Man and War Song? Let's get into it. So here's the classic case of rental stickers taking most of the label with it over the years or after it was sold at a retro game store. I'd see stuff like this all the time working at a local game store for years and at least once a week something like this copy of Adam's Family for SNES would come through the door. I can understand something like this happening to an Atari or Coleco game as the glue they used for the artwork on the cartridge just wasn't the best quality and is also several years old nowadays. But for a Super Nintendo or Genesis game to look like some of these games do, I find myself scratching my head and asking the question why. Next on the list is pretty much every single renovation software title on the Genesis. All amazing titles, but all hard to find in solid condition, especially complete. Did they only offer these to rental stores? And what rental store decided to cut like one third of the Genesis insert of Gaieri's off? This is like the most complete and good condition renovation game I had to begin with and they had to go and take that away from me, cutting one third of the insert for no reason. Because as you can see, the cartridge looks like it was printed yesterday along with the poster and everything else. Over the years, collecting and playing renovation games on Genesis, this seems to be mostly the case. Does anyone recall seeing these titles for sale at any local store back in the day? I'm curious. Lastly, why and who did this to Vector Man? I mean, I can see on what's left of the manual that it was a rental copy, but who decided to mutilate that poor cardboard box? Vector Man may have taken more abuse than our next subject, War Song. Whoever owned this copy prior to me probably bought it from a local rental place after they closed, which I can show you some evidence of in a minute but they decided to cut the middle of the mint condition insert artwork for the case to repair a small amount of sticker damage to the face of the cart. When I saw this online and I still needed Warsong, I had to get this copy just because, and also to see what I would discover underneath. And like I said, sure enough, it's not the worst condition I've seen on a cartridge sticker, just hilarious decision making to say the least. Anyway, that's just a short video that I thought might be amusing to a few people, but I'm working on some bigger videos for next week. Stay tuned for part 2 of all unreleased Sega Genesis games within the next few days. And if you haven't already, please check out part 1 and let me know what you think. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and... Yeah.